everyone welcome back to my channel oh welcome if you are now is it blurry i can't tell i can't see i literally cannot see doing what i usually do i have a load of washing on in the background so apologies for the noise but it always seems to be the same one it's just a towel load though thank god but it always seems to be the same mornings where i decide mm, i should get some washing done that i'm like mm, i should film next week's video so here we are get ready with me to go buy a tesla i actually don't think i would get a tesla if actually i know what i've said um i know i know what i would do if i was to go like if money wasn't an object and i was to just be like told denny go buy a car or just go get one i would take that porsche that looks like sally from cars is it sally is her name sally how are we today? How are we all feeling? What's the haps? Any news? Anything going on? I have a few things going on, but they're all kind of like work related and I'm just like, oh, what am I gonna do? Because I, I also don't know if I'm supposed to like talk about it on the internet. Like, do I need to wait until after it's happened? I'm very conscious of my digital footprint. Like actually like probably too conscious. Like people, I saw this video of a girl, um, on TikTok the other day and she said or like she's been like on her job application got Ryan oh my god actually looks disgusting look at this maybe don't I don't know if I want you to see that she was saying how she's like been on her like grind like applying for jobs and applying and applying and applying and they kind of been like crickets coming back but then one finally came back to her and was like oh do you post on TikTok and she was like no when she does but she slates people on the internet and she was like they've seen it and i was like oh my god but also then i'm like thinking about it and i'm like i'm not hateful on the internet i don't think like there might be some cringeworthy things from many many moons ago but i don't think any are like incriminating like i don't Oh, I don't know. See, this is what makes me paranoid. And I'm like, what about this one video that I filmed 10 million years ago? But I don't even know if it is real. Like, if it's all just in my head. I'm so afraid. So afraid. This is maybe why I just have to become famous. There's a few reasons that I need to be famous. One, this is a big one as well. So that I can be on Dancing with the Stars. But I want to be a star. Like, I want them to, like, train me up to be a dancer, like, in... A week you know and also i'm i couldn't be one of the professionals like i need to be coached and stuff i can't be the one doing the coaching especially not in dance i was i taught baby ballet when i was like 11 and it was good but also i only remembered part of their dance and then we were showing it to the um like the leader of the dance school that I went to and none of them actually knew it. They were just all copying off of me. So I only knew part of it. And then I stopped at the part that I didn't know. And then they all just stopped. And I was like, oh my God, I quit. My career as a ballet, baby ballet teacher is over. And I thought it was my fault, but I was only like a student teacher. Like I wasn't actually like in charge, so. It wasn't my fault, but I thought I thought that my dance teacher was angry at me, but she was just angry at the class. Now, you might be wondering, I'm already dressed, and this is this is a new thing for me, but do you know, I got a package yesterday from my mummy back in Australia. She sent me some clothes from home. So these are Jag jeans. This, these she bought for me, but obviously she couldn't get it shipped here direct. So she bought these and then um, I took the tags off and washed them and stuff. Um, and they fit out my finger. These fit me perfectly, which is fantastic because jeans never do. Um, and like my other Jag jeans, the kind of creamy colored ones, they fit me around my butt, but not around my waist, which is the typical script, me and jeans. And these ones fit perfect. So I think I, see when I was trimming my eyebrows the other day, I think I've actually done some damage. Because it didn't look like that when I had done them the other day, but now there's like a chunk missing from here. So I definitely should have just waited and gone see my eyebrow lady. Um, but you know, I'm a DIY type of girl. I grew up watching Laura DIY and that's who I've become. Definitely not. I'm not Laura DIY. 
me and my Morphe M173 brush and my blush from Made by Mitchell. I think this blush is going to last me like actually 10 years because I use so little and it goes such a long way. And also guess what I have done in between the last video I filmed and now. My friend Amy and I have booked a holiday in Portugal. Um, Amy was the one I was getting ready with in the Dominic Fike Get Ready With Me. And we're going to Portugal together in November for Amy's 21st birthday. So I'm very, very excited. I don't speak any Portuguese. We were initially going to be going to Barcelona, but the flights... I had booked the hotel and then we both kind of looked at flights and it was going to cost so much more money to fly to Barcelona. <gasps> Ow. Something's happening with my skin at the moment. I think it's because I'm so stressed that it's... But here's the thing with stress and me. I, um, I have trouble like expressing it outwardly. So I just deal with it all in my head, but I think then it comes out in different ways, as in my skin. So then I've got this one, and then the all the pimples around my mouth have resurfaced, and there's like a nice little Bermuda Triangle here. So we'll have to see. But it's all, it's all work-related, which is brilliant, <laughs> which is awesome. And it shouldn't be that stressful, but... Here I am. Anyway, I'm talking about Portugal. Um, the flights were like, they were gonna cost over a hundred pounds for me, like my return flights and same thing for Amy. Then accommodation was gonna cost like, I think it was 40 or 60 quid more. So we just, we made the executive decision that we're going to Portugal instead. I'm pretty sure I hadn't even talked about Barcelona to you guys anyway, so I could have just said nothing. I'm trying to save my lashes. I mean, not my lashes, well, that's another thing that I'll circle back to. I'm trying to save my nails to get them done again just before I go on holiday. Also, like, is that gonna be, like, in a month's time, what are they gonna look like? But then I'm like, mm, should I get my eyelashes done as well? So I don't really have to do much makeup day to day, just if we're going out for dinner. I ask all the big questions and I don't know if I, get answers that I need. Like, am I ready to go back to being a lashed babe? I don't know. I really am not sure. Cause I used to get them the couple months before I left Australia, I used to get my eyelashes done, get them done like every two weeks. And they were like, they were really natural ones, but I really liked them. When I was in Scotland, the place I was in was such a small town. Doing any kind of like beauty treatment stuff here, like it's completely foreign. They have different names for everything. They have different procedures, like hair salons. You have to, I've managed to have hair salons. So, but you have to go in and do like, strip tests like with the colors and stuff at least 28 24 to 48 hours before like you go in in australia they just do it but that's not what it's like here and i'm just like <laughs> it's kind of, it's better here in belfast because it's an actual city but where i was in scotland it was so tiny and i was just like i can't i don't know where to go i don't know what to do um like trying to get my nails done nowhere i've had an appointment and i never got my like shifts uh, like far enough in advance to like book an appointment a couple weeks ahead. I only got my nails done whenever I was like on holiday. Like I went to Milan for a week in December last year and I got my nails done. It cost me 90 euro. 90 euro to get. I'll try and find a photo of what they looked like because I don't know if I would have paid 90 euro. Those nails were quite slay though, but I was just like, is square even for me? My nail lady at the moment, she and I, I've gone in being like, mm, I think I might want square. And then I tell her what I want. And she's like, it's going to look weird, Denny. No. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. I just do what she tells me to. But I give her full creative freedom. Is it too much? Is the yellow a little bit too much? No. I don't think so. Because this, I can't put it on my cheeks. I just can't do it. I'm sorry, Rihanna. Like, I can't. I think it's gorge. But I use this as an eyeshadow. I do not use this as a highlighter. I can't, I think it would make me look like I am jaundiced. I can't do it. But I like, I like a little pop in the inner corner. And also these under eye bags. Don't look at them. Can't see anything. Don't even worry about it. What about the people he murdered? What murder? 
every time I've attempted to do a curly girl routine, right? Are you with me? Every time I've attempted to do it, it, it always feels like there's just too much product in my hair and then it lasts for like a day and then I'm like fuck I just I feel disgusting and greasy and I want to wash my hair now and it's only been like a day less than 24 hours so I'm just like right okay well I can't do a curly girl routine so then I end up like straightening or curling my hair with like curling wand or tongs and I'm just like this is so bad for my hair like I'm um, I want to be treating it well, but I'm like, how the fuck do I do that? So I found, I was out shopping with one of my friends the other day. I know I have friends. I have one. Ooh. I was out shopping with her the other day and I found this, which is a volume blow dry. Like it's texture spray, te texture spray and heat protectant, which we all know that I already needed heat protectant anyway because I've just I've just been raw dogging and curling and straightening my hair. And it's my hair is taking to it really well. I don't think I sprayed it on properly yesterday though. So it's a bit mm, it's like this bit is straight, like underneath here, but everything on top is wavy. So next time I wash my hair, I'm going to do it evenly, mostly blow dry it, and then just kind of let it do its thing, and I'll see how it goes. I don't know if this is going to be a terrible idea, but I am going to do some smoky eyeliner. Never meant to fall in love. Cheyenne. That Cheyenne song by Jason Derulo is so fantastic. Have I told you guys that I've met Jason Derulo as well? This was back in my child TV star days of being on Nickelodeon. That's also Take That Lightly. I wasn't actually a child TV star. I was just on Camp Orange with, a, with my sister. After we had finished filming camp orange because me and my sister won they kept us back a day to like film some ads and stuff i can still remember like the fucking fuck ass outfit that they put me in it was like a t-shirt dress with a shirt a long sleeve stripy sleeve shirt underneath said t-shirt dress then leggings underneath that and put me in sparkly like lace-up boots <laughs> and than my cat ears. I was. Those cat ears didn't budge. I made an image for myself and I stuck to it. I was, see for years afterwards, I was afraid to leave the house without cat ears on. I thought people were gonna be like so angry at me if I stopped wearing cat ears. And now I realize, I don't even know what like day it was that I, I think it was probably when I went to high school. I think that's when I stopped wearing cat ears because I was like, I can't do this anymore. This one's not as pointy as I wanted to be. And I'm like, Come on, work with me, girl. I'm a little sure I got so complicated. <laughs> I'm such a vivid memory of that song because the day that I met Jason Derulo was the day that he played that on like the Today Show in the morning. Like I woke up, watched him on the Today Show and then I went into the Nickelodeon headquarters in Sydney and he was rolling around on his fucking, <laughs> on one of them hoverboards. It's like the two wheels and the pedals. He was like, going around it's because it was the nickelodeon and mtv headquarters because it's viacom that is a day that i met jason derulo still believe that now we shared it was something sacred look what we started baby you're not what i expected see when i'm famous i pity any makeup artist that's gonna have to do my makeup because it's taken me so many years to figure out, like, how to deal with the fact that my eyes are two different shapes. I don't know how they're going to do that. They, like, we're going to need to, like, consult. I used to want to be a makeup artist. That was in my, like, 14-year-old thinking I was a beauty YouTuber era. But you know what? If I had stayed on that track, if I had have kept posting on YouTube, I probably would be by now. Slay, why does this... Why is this just not... not <laughs> This video, I didn't think it was gonna take this long. But someone decided to fuck about with eyeliner. I'm someone. Good job, Denny. Well done, me. Right, that's it. That's what we're doing. Mascara. Mascara. Also, move. I love putting mascara on with this mascara. It's like, it's just like, mm, yes, that's, you're doing exactly what I want you to. 
You know what, thank God for Q-tips. Let's do, I'm gonna put my lip liner on, but the gloss isn't going on until later on. Until Ron. No, Ron, no! What is it? He's going to sacrifice himself. No, you can't. Guys, because of the Honourable Mike's Mike, I've started watching Lost and I am hooked. I am on season one, episode 16. I have not watched episode 16 yet, but I wanted to watch his appropriately un unhinged recap of it. And I, I just, I couldn't bring myself to do it without having seen the show. So I'm watching it. I was at the gym yesterday, but I was wearing my like, most like boyish outfit. I was wearing fucking champion boys, like knee length shorts and a Snoop Dogg t-shirt. And I was like, I am so girly pop and these people don't have any idea. Like, I thought it was hilarious. I'll brush and brush and brush and brush my hair and wonder when will my life begin? This needs to go. What do I want to do with my hair? I don't know, I can't tell. This is also stinging, it's so prickly. I kind of love it, but I also am like, uh, I am girly pop, I promise. Parting comb. Oh dear, jeez. But see, I don't understand how I'm supposed to work these parting combs because it's like, you do this, but then how do I like actually split it down the middle? It never works, you know? Well, I kind of did though, oopsies. I'm sorry for doubting you. It's definitely a pigtail type of day, but what kind of pigtails will it be? Did I, have I fucked this up again? Yes. Yes, I have. Yay. I don't even like Tangled that much. I just like the horse that's got that mad attitude. I should probably give you like an updated tattoo tour maybe. Is that what the girls want? What the dolls want? Whenever I ask what the dolls want, nobody seems to tell me. So I'm just gonna assume that I have the doll's best interests at heart and I will give you what you want. See, cute, we're gonna do that. I got a mail in a postal vote today as well for the referendum, for the upcoming referendum. And I am like bricking it because I don't know how to do it. Like, I don't even know if I'm supposed to put a stamp on or what. Um, I'm gonna put a stamp on like just in case, just to like, cover all my bases but also they made it really unclear on like what I'm supposed to write on the end on like the outside of the envelope so I wrote it wrong and then I've had to like write it again and like cross out what I wrote initially so I'm just hoping that like my that I've done it properly because they really don't make it clear and I, like I need it explained exactly what they want to me because otherwise did it wrong like twice so where are my bobby pins? Are they even? No. Why is there so much on this side and like nothing on here? Where is the rest of my fringe? I don't even know. I always think that I'm only gonna be filming for like 20 minutes. And I always end up filming for like 40. I don't know how. Like obviously I have a real gift for speaking because I can just do it forever. But I didn't think I was like that good at it, but apparently I should never underestimate myself. Why does this side always end up more curly than the other? I think that's good. What do we think, team? Okay, final touches. Me, ooh, me and your doubter. Got a special thing going on. That was really slow. I don't know how Too Faced does it though. Like, how do you make a plumping lip liner, you know? How does that happen? But also, I don't know how it's like happening that everyone has like a lip plumper now. I remember like back in the day, back in the like Shani Grimmond days, Too Faced lip injection was the thing and everyone had it and I had it. And like, I don't know, how is it taking this long for everyone else to get there? Do they have a secret formula? Perhaps. Thank you for coming on this spiritual journey with me today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle through eyeliner yet again. And I hope you will join me next week in whatever I decide to do. Potentially another get ready with me. This one was kind of extra slick because I was already dressed. TTYLXOX, as Bella Thorne says. Bye.